every Easter egg Loki's upcoming episode features, what do the spoilers say? Hey guys, welcome to our channel. For more updates on the celebrities, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to never miss a video. The majority of Marvel fans come from the comics and movies as it hasn't been long since the series began. And we can agree as exciting as it is to watch the new storyline being pulled off, it's really fun to see the easter eggs. Likewise, the references from the movies are really fun. And the good news is Loki's upcoming episode will contain one or two easter eggs just like that. Before we dive deeper, let us know what made you a Marvel fan. Were you introduced to the Marvel world by comics, movies or series? Comment down below. Without wasting further time, let's get right into it. Comical Thanos Loki's upcoming episode Journey into Mystery spoiler suggests Loki will meet three other Loki variants. And we can say one of them will be a kid boastful Loki and classic Loki. Since everyone will be pruned by Ravona Renslayer, they will show the present Loki their hideout where they live and survive the void. Getting into the easter eggs we previously talked about, Loki has been sent to the end of time. That means instead of resetting him, TVA sent him to a place where everything has already happened and it's the end. So he meets other variants thrown by TVA and finds himself in a landscape that has already been destroyed. Likewise, the end of time also has Thanos' copter just lying there, the ridiculous helicopter used by Matt Titan himself. And comic fans might know the time Thanos was in search of a comic cube. Moreover, Thanos rode a helicopter with his name printed on the back of the chopper. And we can agree that it was hilarious. Nevertheless, the irony is that the sinister and fearsome Thanos rode a comical mode of transportation. As he always had a serious and cool way of making entrances, a big guy riding a chopper was funny. Mjolnir and Levati Now something that might excite you the most, we will also be able to see Mjolnir. Yes, the hammer Odin gave to Thor will be lying on the floor. However, it's a mystery how it got there. Could it be a variant itself? Meanwhile, we will also have to drive into Norse mythology as Loki receives a golden blade from Kid Loki. And the weapon is inspired by the mythological Norse weapon, Levitine, which was made by Loki himself. And he uses it to distract Elioth by putting the sword aflame while Sylvie enchants it. Quinn Kang Hu? On the other hand, we can also expect to see Quinn Enterprises building. And most fans might remember it as the Stark Tower. However, Tony Stark had sold it to CEO Quinn before the new Avengers facility was built. Also, Queen is actually an alter ego of Kang, the conqueror who was trapped on 21st century Earth. And this also makes us ask another question. Had Kang's invasion already taken place as a Nexus event? Nevertheless, Elioth sits like a good dog after enchanting which shows the path to the real timekeeper. And it could be Kang himself who is manipulating time however he wants it. Vehicle Reference in addition, one of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Hell Carriers will also be lying on the floor. Also, we can also see a large metallic structure lying when Team Loki gathers on taking Elioth. And it is none other than Ronan the Accuser's vessel from Guardian of the Galaxy, the Dark Aster which was destroyed during the Battle of Sander. Likewise, the fans will recognize Mobius' Pizza Planet truck from Toy Story. Although the design isn't exactly the same, we can see it in many of the scenes. This could also mean Pixar's Woody and Buzz is confirmed for Spider-Man No Way Home. Also, the vehicle has GRN W1D written on the number plate. That references to a love letter of the comic book writer Mark Greenwald. Also, he was referred in episode 2's Renaissance Fair taking place in the writer's birthplace of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Lots of entities. Nevertheless, we will get to see 9 new Loki variants who will be following the lead of Tom Hiddleston's Loki. And this might be the only Loki fans have been familiar with who runs around in a suit with horns. Moreover, the upcoming episode is going to be a huge blast as we will also see the USS Eldridge. Also, we will get to see Marvel Comics Living Tribunal 
a multi-faced statue, and a time-defying entity that protects the balance in the multiverse. Lastly, we will also see a recreation of Asgard as classic Logi uses it to distract Elliot. And we might also see the exact setup when Guardians of the Galaxy Peter Quill and his friends hold hands to wield the Power Stone to defeat Ronan the Accuser as Loki and Sylvie hold hands.